Hey, hey, welcome to the most wonderful real estate podcast ever. Cheers, guys. I'm having some wine today. So thank you for tuning in today. Mm. So delicious. So we're doing a short summer series. As you know, they're only 10 minutes each. So I'm doing a whole bunch of quick 10 minute podcasts so you all can just listen and binge and catch up on all the crazy stuff happening this summer. Today we're gonna to talk about when will the foreclosures actually start? When will the foreclosures start? So I'm Dawn Benton Twyford, I'm America's most sought after real estate investor and I'm so excited that you are at the most wonderful real estate podcast ever. And I'm out in the lobby today. I thought I'd uh, bring you a different view from where I normally podcast in my room. And I wanna just take a minute and read a quick five-star review. And this one says five stars, inspiration and helpful. It's very helpful in our daily life. So I love it and told all my friends to subscribe to this awesome show. James Harrell from the United States. Thank you, James, I love it. Best five stars, best interviewer. She is a very helpful and generous businesswoman. One of my favorite mentors, Edward Queener from the United States. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you would like to have a chance to have your five-star review read, you have to subscribe, you have to leave a review, you have to write a review, and you have to have five stars, and maybe I'll read yours. So, when will the foreclosure start? They already did. So one of the things, and it's funny, I went door knocking this week. I went with my daughter and her partner, and I decided, you know what, I'm going to go door knocking with my girls. So every Monday for the rest of the summer, I'm going to go door knocking. I haven't done it for a while. And, you know, with everything that Bill and I have going on, I haven't really been able to get out. And so I decided to go every Monday uh, from now till November and just get back out in the field and talk to homeowners and see exactly what's happening and, and just everything I can do to help you guys stay up on all the crazy in the world right now. So it was interesting because... I think we knocked on 15 doors and 10 people were home. 10 people. So we talked to 10 people. And some of them denied, oh, we're in denial, oh, we're not in foreclosure, you got the wrong house. I was like, mmm, but you're on the list in the public record, so that's okay. Denial's really common, really, really, really common for people to be in denial. So it's like, all right, no, no, no harm, no foul. You don't have to admit it right now. We'll just loop back. And I talked to a couple of people who said they had done a forbearance agreement. So forbearance is, that's what happened when COVID started. They said, hey, we're gonna do a nationwide forbearance agreement. So just to re-remind you, a forbearance agreement is not a permanent thing. So the bank will say, okay, you're $10,000 behind your payments. So we'll take the 10,000, we'll divide it over 12 months which is like 800 and something a month, and we're gonna add it to your payment. So your payment was 1,500, you got 10,000 behind, so now you have to pay the 1,500 plus the 800 on top of it, and for the whole entire 12 months, while you're making that mortgage payment, you're actually still in the foreclosure process. So I want you to write this down, 97, 95 to 97 to 99% of the people, 95% higher, fail in a loan modification. Because you take your old payment, that was 1,500, you add 800 on top, which is 10,000 divided by 12. Now you're paying that plus the 800, make that payment. But if you miss one, one payment, the bank will put your house up onto the next foreclosure sale. And in different states, like in our state, they have foreclosure sales twice a week. Uh, some states have foreclosure sales at the courthouse daily, some do once a month, but when a homeowner falls behind on that forbearance agreement and they miss that payment, they can go to sale as quickly as the very next sale date. So I meet people all the time that say, hey, we're working with the bank, we're in a forbearance agreement, and I'm good, but they don't understand is every month that rolls by, so like July 1st goes by, they move your sale date to August 1st. If you make the payment August 1st, they move your sale date to September 1st. 
they make the payment, they move your sale date to October, November, December, and they move the sale date per month. But as soon as you miss one payment, and it, you only have to miss it by a day. Forbearances are real strict. Like if the payment has to be in on July 31st, you pay it one day late, you broke the forbearance agreement. So people don't realize that when they miss a payment, their house can go to sale to the very next sale date. And so what happens is people are going along, they make three or four or five payments, and they miss one. And you can miss one so easy, like the car could break down, kids could get sick, you could get COVID again, uh, just anything, any little thing, and you miss a payment, and then they go, oh, I was working with the bank and they sold my house. Well, not really. You were in a forbearance agreement, which are terrible agreements. They're good for the bank. They suck for the homeowner. They just suck so bad for the homeowner. And the banks are being super strict. They're always strict, but they're re being super strict right now because they really do want all the people to miss payments. They want everyone to go to foreclosure because they want to get that house. They want to get it back. They want to get that money back. So they can re-lend that money out at a higher interest rate. So interest rates are like 6.7%, I think, this week. Um, they're expected to go a little bit higher. Some people are saying they might go all the way up to 8%. And if you have a loan that you got a while back and you have a 2.2, 2 2.5, a 3% interest rate, and the bank can take that house, get it back, sell it back out for profit, and then re-lend that money for 7% interest, they're going to do that because in the long run, they're going to make three times the money, three times the money that they would make if you were only getting 2% or 2.3 or 2.2% interest. So if you have a $200,000 loan and 2.2% interest or 3% interest, over the course of the whole 30 years, the bank only makes an additional 100000 so they make the 200 that you borrowed and they make an extra 100 in interest. They take that same 200,000 and lend it back out at six, seven, eight percent interest. You borrow the 200, but you pay the bank back at like 550. So they make three times the money. So the banks only care about the dollars. They only care about the money. So as soon as you miss that forbearance agreement, they will sell your house. And if you fall out of forbearance, the bank may say to you, like, hey, they may, they may allow you to do another forbearance agreement. But the only way you're going to get a second chance at doing a forbearance agreement is if you come up with a bunch of money down, and then they take what's left, spread it back out over 12 months again, and they start you over. So to make those extra high payments for 12 straight months, or 18 months, or 24 months, you're in foreclosure the entire time. So the sale date just moves month by month by month by month by month and you miss one and you're out. So the foreclosures are already starting. I talked to some of my contacts inside the bank and they said that right now they're not even offering forbearance agreements anymore. They're not even doing loan modifications. They're taking everyone to foreclosure because they want that money back to lend it back out at a higher interest rate. So in the bottom line, the bank only have a shit about people. They just literally don't care. They only care about money. Money, 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 because they borrow money from here, they get it into their bank, they lend it out, and you don't make the payments, they want to get that money back, they want to get that house back, they want to sell that house, lend that money back out again. So it's not a good situation for homeowners. So they're expecting, like in the right now, like in the next few months, there's going to be several million houses all in foreclosure at the same time. So what happens then is you have so many foreclosures happening all at once that the market crashes, which is exactly what's happening this very second. So you need to watch my entire summer series so I can talk to you about the foreclosures. So when are they starting? They've already started. Time is here. It's happened. It's happening. So tune in tomorrow, same bad time, same bad channel, and remember that the truth is in the red letters. Ciao!